Hello everyone, it's me, Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. So I haven't vlogged in quite a bit. I know I uploaded a video like a week ago, but I wanted to upload like about at least two more before today. I've been really busy with like just personal stuff, so I haven't been able to record and <coughs> have a bit of a cold and a bit of a chest infection, so I'm trying really hard to get better <laughs> aside from that. Recently we, we've been getting loads of cards from relatives and friends and it's been really nice and cute and it's just adorable. I love it. Thank you. And one of my relatives sent us um, a family card and on and the name they wrote down which I thought was going to be Andy because I more or less had my mum tell her side of the family and extended family about my name after I came out as trans because on this card it said Andrew on it instead of my dead name or a ni my nickname and that made me really happy and it makes me really grateful because I know um, especially with this time of the year it's the festive season many people are in circumstances where they can't be out or they haven't come out yet because of their family's views or just how where people are ready to come out but they they literally can't because it's whether a life or death situation and you now I mentioned before that when I told my mum when I came out my mum was totally chill about it however it has taken her and I loads of years of tears and argument and loads of argument and tears and emotional text messages. I think some people might assume like after you come out and everyone's totally fine, everyone's reactions are very good reactions and not negative reactions and but it's, it's kind of the aftermath that people that some people may not quite understand is that after coming out as trans it will take a lot of time for people to use the correct pronouns that you want to use and you, the name that you want them to refer you as and it will take loads of time and I think through the arguments and the crying and loads of crying because as much as I don't like crying I feel like it definitely does help <laughs> especially crying with my mum and having those few moments with my mum where I would tell her why I'm upset I think it's definitely helped with her understanding how I feel and stuff like that and it's just kind of I suppose just relearning how to I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was getting at. I, I really am grateful for like just kind of, especially with extended family that I haven't actually spoken to for quite a long time because I'm my anxiety kind of stops me from being able to engage in conversations with old friends and family so I'm still more or less scared but it was very nice that this Christmas card had Andrew written on it and it really does warm me up inside. I don't want to say to people like even if your parents might not accept you now they might later. I mean you know some some people's parents and families and friends might stop being ignorant and arrogant over how you identify but um I I don't I can't speak for everyone and I don't I don't know how everyone's mind everyone's minds work. I think what kind of helps is just keeping that conversation going and even though it might really stress you out a lot I think it does help but I feel like even if you you don't have a person or a place where you don't feel accepted I feel like there are other people in places where you can feel accepted because I personally believe that that you're not alone and oh, I'm gonna cry now <laughs> I, I I do I do feel like that because I, I I feel like there's 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 always that some that you know someone who's who, who's there that can work as the, the support system for you and can actually support you um, emotionally and there are people who feel the same as you and maybe not exactly the same but maybe maybe similar and I hope like through my random weird videos and me rambling in some way it can bring you comfort or that kind of uplifting even though I sound really sick right now because I, <laughs> I hope in some way I can be able to help and if not me maybe I hope other people can help and by doing that kind of reaching out and speaking to people and just kind of be like, hey, can I talk to you about how I feel? And hopefully someone could be like, yeah, sure, tell me how you feel. That's it, I don't I don't know what to name this video. Anyway, I'm gonna probably just think about it before I upload it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I hope everyone is taking care of themselves and, the, and, and you remain to be healthy and safe and that you have a good time. And I, I, I wish all the best for you and I will definitely record more videos because um, um, I'm hoping to do more because my boyfriend's coming over next week. Ah! <laughs> but I'm really happy and excited about that because I finally get to see him and it's been so long. I say so long but it's like I think maybe a month and a few weeks I think. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited about that. I'm so excited. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!
I'm on leaving. Oh my god, she's coming upstairs. Wow. Rude